July 13th, 1980, morning session continued. Anyone 
Is there anything more interesting than, than this life form? If you have a, if you have a choice, you can have life force or anything else. Is there anything else that you prefer? Interesting to the life form.
ಬಂದು ಅಮಿತವಾಗಿ ಬಂದು ಹೋಗ್ತಾನೆ
body is the food of the vital force Whoever has built this world and is concerned with the, with the working of the world, he is not worried about it because there are many innumerable forms which are always created for the life force to work in. So if few of them get cut, the creator is not worried. <laughs> Ask any question, but ask questions not with identification to the body, but with the identification in the life. The question is for whether pranayam and this making friendship with this life force is the same thing. The Mara said pranayam is a practice in order to achieve this goal. So this son of a guru, he is not the, the, the proper son of a guru, if he gives more importance to what someone else says, then the importance he gives to his own guru. He said, if you come here, he said, are you not uniquely in the status and importance of your own guru? <laughs> Look at the 
If you ask, if you ask something and there is a subject or topic to talk about, then if you talk about it. Where does the fear of life or death come? From where does the fear of death come? Maranatha Bhai Kutu Niyatani. Maranatha Bhai Kutu Konala. He says, who is conscious of this fear of death? The thoughts. Vichar. Vichar. Vichar Bhai Manto. Vichar Bhai Manto. Vichar Bhai Manto. Who understands the process of thought? Who is it that understands the process of thought? But, who understands the mind? Who is there? What is there prior to the mind? I don't know. Mind. <laughs> Probably <so. laughs> it's something because you are holding it. You are holding the thoughts. There must be something. Yes. Yeah. So ask you, what is it? But I don't know. <laughs> what is there to know about it? What is there to know about it? You say, that there is something, when will you have to say it? What you have said now, that there is something, you know that there is something, but you don't know what it is. You say, when will you have to say it? You say, you are able to say this or anything only because you have the sense that you are. You have the sense that you exist. You have the consciousness that you exist. So he says, stick to that. That consciousness it tells you that you are. Mm -hmm. He says, give up your identity with the body and you are the body. Mm -hmm. your identity with the body and concentrate your thoughts on the self. That consciousness, that which gives sentience to the body. That means, he means, we are not talking about that. We are 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 talking about that. So he says, who has heard? This, your own thing, that you are not the body. You have said that you are not the body. So who is it that has heard you and understood you? I have heard it, but I don't have understood it now. I have heard it, but I don't have understood it. That's a different. I've heard I'm not the body and the mind. No, you have heard You I have heard Who is this I? Who is it that has heard you? Here, here I see you. You is it now? You are sitting here. You know that you are sitting here. So who is it that knows and understands that you are sitting here? What principle is it? that understands that you are sitting here, knows that you are sitting here. For a confirmed fact, there is no doubt about it. So who is it that understands that you are sitting here? Sundar. The session is almost over, oh. but Mara says, anyway, continue with your question. You have started a line of... Uh, the ego, yeah? Oh. Then he will ask, what's the ego? <laughs> and the world around, yes? How can I lose it? 
देह आणि जग हे सगळं मी ओळखतो आणि जाणतो पण त्याच्या दुसरं काय आहे ते कसं जाणणे कसं नाही करतो की मला जग आणि ते काय आहे ते मला सांग सांगायचं बरं ते काय आहे कशामुळे मी मी मला आणखी जगायला ओळखतो त्याला तुझ्या गुरु नाही सांगितलं गुरु करून आलं पाहिजे का माझ्या तुलाच आलं पाहिजे गुरु कडून येणार ते तुझ्या येणार तुझ्या तुम्ही येणार तेच गुरु कडे आहे गुरु त्यांची I think he has asked you to discuss it with your Guru. <laughs> this very question and answer, discuss it with your Guru. You have to say, 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 you have to say. He says, the difficulty is with your Guru, that you consider yourself as your body, and you consider your Guru, the Guru's body as Guru. Yeah. You consider your body as you, and you consider your guru's body as your guru that is the difficulty that depends from my eyes i can see only the outside when you meet dora samur the vista te tevra banu shakto bolle pan jala dikta tyala banitla jo kasa tuma banavate you say i'm left to understand that principle which enables you to see the world and the power of it you are able to see the world unless you recognize that principle how can you understand it right um, the same way it is but for this i am seeking here yes, to understand this principle yeah. that, but it's quite it quite equal maybe it will not be satni nigal hai but it say these given the answer to me in self in your body it is not big yeah you should not for it you cannot help me oh at least the basic then you can discuss it with the people in the dance kalai and from this point apan he ya to uttar apan aplyala apya guru kan samajh bhai ke guru ka kan samajh bhai the it is how you can turn with it man samajh bhai जुलाय थर्टीन नाईन्टीन एटी इव्हनिंग सेशन बिगिन what what equipment you are having is that prana and the, what? what that upasana upasana means that uh, 
worship, worship of prana. That's what you said, no? Yeah. So for doing that, what equipment do you have? Is prana itself. Along with prana, there is that knowledge I am or the consciousness. <laughs> the, these two things are available for you to do anything. Nothing more than that. Hmm. Guna and Pran. Guna means that I consciousness and Vara, Gun, pra, I consciousness or that knowledge I am. It is great God, he says. Ishwara. Ishwara principle. And that Prana, vital force, is great, great power. The great power or great energy. <laughs> There is no consciousness without the vital force. Vital force indicates the movement. Otherwise, there cannot be consciousness. Along with the vital force, that knowledge I am or the consciousness, which is the most required thing, which is the most wanted, every, every, everybody wants to sustain that. Mm -hmm. That's why all the efforts. That is the first thing. Along with that, you need so many other things. But the first requirement is that consciousness itself. Self love. Thirteen July nineteen eighty evening session continued. Then all the efforts and trouble is automatically there. But once you get an idea of what it is, what you are really, then there is no need for any, any trouble, any effort. The <laughs> You see, in the earlier stages, there is self-love, but that love has no, no form, it is formless. And in the later stages, even that self-love also goes, and the witnessing happens that the self-love is not there. I <laughs> In each case, he says that there is no self love. <laughs> activities are happening, whatever activities are there, they are going on. But he is describing his state as if it is like some hollow 
hollow stick or something. Tube. Hollow tube. Mm -hmm. There is no self love. Love for existence has vanished. Still, existence is there. And activity is not happening. His body and that hollow tube, they are alike. The hollow tube has no love for its, itself, the existence. Similarly, here also. That's why they are compared is I don't consider myself to be something like Brahma, Vishnu or Ishwara. I have not taken any pose or any stance. Can <laughs> <laughs> Why there is no pose, no stance? Because there is no material to take a stance or pose. Many people come here, but some of them they don't understand. They argue. They quarrel with them, they fight with them. So then he says, Okay, you are right. You need not attend to because you are not able to understand me. The reason is you are identification with the body, which you are not able to give up. Those who come here, they will talk to me. They will tell me only when something occurs to them, some concept occurs, and the words will flow. So whatever questions somebody puts depends on whatever occurs to him at that moment. The questioner will identify himself with the body. He has firm conviction that he is the body. And from that standpoint, we will ask a question. But Maharaj is asking, should I consider you, consider you to be a body while with, uh, talking to you? How that is possible? Then no reason, no color. So the questioner is full of color and design. Whereas the one who replies has no color and design. So how they will agree? How the questions and the replies will agree? Yeah. 
ದೇವಾನಿ ದೇವಾಣಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಂತ ಮೇಲ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ದೇವರು ಅದು ಜ್ಞಾನ stone cannot dissolve in water stone cannot dissolve in water similarly he says one who has identification with the body for him this knowledge has no meaning we cannot have it In spite of that, the widgets that people make here will not be wasted, in spite of all this, thanks. Still the widgets that people make here, they will be useful. So it means that widgets will be of some use at some, some other time. They will not be wasted. आपण निर्माण होतात effect of the visit will be like when it rains you automatically see the grass or some plant coming out sprouting that similar effect will happen ase hi mandal mo se kuala jana lagne jana jana ki shivarti mein gaya hai mandal yanda ki shivarti mein bahut aa rahi hai achhi acha ki mandal loko main kon sa mandal ko ಸೋಲ್ whatever may be the question the reply is ready come on come on come on move move come on you are not ready कोण काय बोलतो now he is asking you know the, when the question is there the reply is not spontaneously available ready the reason is that the original origin of the i consciousness when it is known this becomes spontaneously the reply comes spontaneously the origin of the i consciousness is known my dear mandal mool mool ka aadhar nahi जगाचा अनुभव येण्याकरता मी काय केलंय कल्पना घेऊन काहीतरी केलं कल्पना करते आय एम एक्सपिरियन्सिंग द वर्ल्ड बट फॉर द आय हॅव आय डन टू टीन एनी एफर्ट विदाउट एनी एफर्ट आय एम एक्सपिरियन्सिंग द वर्ल्ड 
He says his true state, that is the absolute state, cannot be remembered. This process cannot be forgotten. Without remembering that and without putting in any effort, the experience of the world is happening. Happening. In your case, you have the memory of the knowledge of your birth. That is, somebody has told you. Somebody has told you that you were born and that memory is very firmly with you. The knowledge of birth you don't have. Only somebody told you that you were born and that memory you had. This memory of birth was when you didn't have. But your mother or your parents or somebody gave you that concept with constant effort, like driving a nail into the wall, hammering. Ah. So like that, that memory is, has become very strong with you now. So somebody has given life to that memory that you have got and that is ultimately strangulating you. That same concept which has been put into your mind or put into you is now ultimately strangulating you. In the absence of the beingness, it says in the absence of the beingness, whole, the whole world and the pleasure of all Brahman, they were worthless for you when you didn't know that about your existence. So they had value, only you came to know that you existed. When the beingness of The joy of Brahman was of no value to you when you did not know about your own existence, when the memory of beingness was not there, nothing was of any value to you. <laughs> this memory I am is neither true nor false. It is without these two aspects, attributes. That is, it is appears to be. It only appears to exist. That memory of being now. Instead of receiving all this knowledge, you will not feel better without the knowledge of the body, that the body exists. 
and the other body also exists. Without <laughs> that knowledge, you will not feel better, he says. With all the time, so he, he, in other words, he means that you can entertain yourself only when you know, you identify with the body, your body, and you also consider other people as, as bodies only, not as knowledge, he means. You identify other as human beings, and you are taking yourself as a human being, he means that. Then only you can have entertainment in this world. It says when you take yourself as, when you identify yourself with the body, you also look others as bodies only, isn't it? All other human beings, you take them as bodies. You cannot see everything as knowledge. In short, he means that. And then only it is possible for you to pass time. Otherwise, how will you pass time? How do you mean, see everything as knowledge? I'm not... What do you mean by that? I that the 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 so, if you consider yourself to be very knowledgeable, you consider, take yourself as a jnani, how will you pass your time now? Will you be able to pass time unless you consider yourself to be the body? He is talking about a person who thinks that he is a jnani. He presumes that he is knowledgeable. He thinks that he is a jnani. Maharaj thinks that he is a no, he doesn't. He doesn't think. That no, he told that's us. very obvious to us too. That's why we're here, I'm not with a self-appointed guru. He says, one who understands that really, that understanding has no color and design, he says. That understanding, understanding. real understanding, real understanding, he is talking, referring to a sage, that real understanding has no color and design. <laughs> so that's why here he says, so far as he is concerned, there is no, the, the self-love doesn't exist. The love for existence doesn't exist. You may or may not believe this. <laughs> or the necessity. The necessity to be. The necessity for existence is non existent. Like a hollow tube. <laughs> Can I keep you on your time, my love? 
Now he is asking you, without body, how did he pass time? When the, he didn't have a body. So the sage is, he is that principle which is prior to the, yeah, beyond time, prior to the body. How did he pass time without a body? When the body was not there, means when the consciousness was not there, how many years were passed without the knowledge, without without knowing that about the existence? How many years were passed without the body? There is no time itself. When you witness, only then there is time. It is not born in that sphere. There is no scope for time. What is the difference? But you may not get out of the idea. What is the idea? I said, I'm not going to get out of like a calf, you know, it thrusts its mouth into the udders of the mother. Uh-huh. Like that, you know. We <laughs> <laughs> call it bunting. 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 He says to be in your eternal true state is your religion. Sarupi. Sarupi. Sarup means your own true. Your own true state. I mean, to remain in that is your Swadharma, your own religion. All other things are Paradharma, religions of others, not your religion. Hmm. One who has no form, how he can behave? In according in accordance with uh, his religion, uh-huh. one who has no form, how he can behave in accordance with his religion? Certain pattern of living, pattern of life, that he could call it religion. This is traditional and uh, has nothing to do with self-knowledge. Mm-hmm. So that is a group fashion. Mm-hmm. By society, all the group of people, all by a prophet. And they, they come back right of they, they, they behave that way. But as behavior is not religion, since there is no behavior, as there is no form and color, there can be no behavior. So all the religions are false that way. In this world, we refer to some entity as God. That God is he having any behavior. He has any traditions or any rules, regulations. I think all those rules and regulations are just the product of men's concepts, that's all. The only validity I've ever seen to religion is that obviously people who are not interested in, you know, 
the final teachings of truth, such as Maharaj, bless his soul. He knows what counts. This time itself, whatever happens in that time also, this happens with that only. Whatever is applicable at particular time doesn't apply now. Mm -hmm. It is passed away with that time. <laughs> According to the situation, there is behavior. So that is that behavior is the religion at that time. He is asking what is left over of the original religion enunciated by those prophets. Today what is left over? Today what we see is a completely distorted form. Not that original religion which was prescribed at that moment for that situation. <laughs> now to have get eternal peace, you must dwell in yourself. How this touch I am has appeared. All other talk is of no use for eternal peace. <laughs> Certainly organizing a religion is of no use. <laughs> <laughs> When you come here and listen to these talks, for yourself, will you have any advantage of listening to this? For your own self, will you have any advantage? Depends on what you mean by self. <laughs> Still you feel like listening to the talk, isn't it? You like it, although there is no advantage to that principle. You feel like listening to this. <laughs> that's talking in absolute terms. You know, I'm listening I can because I have a lot to learn, that's why. We all want the state that Maharaj enjoys. I say we want to enjoy the same state that Maharaj enjoys. So in that sense, he's talks him. See that eternal and true is there, but for witnessing it is of no use. And whatever you witness must be the eternal or the true. Yes. Any comment? I'm just nodding my head. 
that I he is rather telling us in a very appealing way. He says, he says you give up all this trash. In the, in the name of religion, whatever you are trying to study, in the name of spirituality. He says, do only one thing. He says, that godly principle is there, that I am or consciousness, that is the godliest principle. That is there only so long as this vital breath is there, or vital life force. This vital breath has five aspects, it is called panchaprana, five aspects and vital breath. This is the motive force for all, all activities. When this five aspected vital force, life force is there, then only this quality of beingness will be there. It is called a guna. This beingness is your nature presently. You are that only presently. You worship that principle. He said that quality, that touch of ironness or consciousness, something like the sweetness of a sugar cane. The sugar cane is there, that inside fibers material is there, the juice is there, and the sweetness is the ultimate, final. Similarly in this, the final thing is that quality or that touch of beingness, that is that Ishara principle. You are that, abide in that and worship that only. Then only you will reach the eternal peace, you will abide in eternal peace, and not by discussing any other material regarding spirituality. He almost appealed to us, do nothing else. Father, <laughs> 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 A person got a baby, you know, a baby was delivered mm -hmm. to his wife. So unfortunately, that vital breath left that body and the child was dead. The body was disposed of. He says, no, what did leave the body? That vital breath. There was no vital breath in the child. 
if the body was disposed of. Suppose the vital breath was there, then that touch of I amness would have been there in the child, that consciousness would have been there, and the parents would have fondled that body or fondled that live baby. But since the vital breath is gone, that life force is gone, therefore beingness is no more there. So therefore it is just a dead body. <laughs> Since there was no vital breath, if there is vital breath, the knowledge I am is there. Since there was no vital breath, there was no knowledge of I am this, that consciousness or beingness. He says, therefore, take full advantage of the naturally available, available capital with you. That is, your life force and the knowledge I am, they are together with you. Right now, take full advantage of that, exploit it fully. All the worldly activities are going on because of the knowledge I am together with that motive force that is the life force, the vital breath. And that is not apart from you. You are that only. He says, vital breath. You investigate and study this only. Yours is the vital breath. And that knowledge I am is of the vital breath. Oh, oh. Jnaneshwara means the God of vital breath. That he called Jnaneshwara. That means vital breath or vital life force. And that knowledge, that quality of beingness, both together is myself. Both entities must be there. He <laughs> said, don't be naughty and go astray into the world. Fortunately, you have both these aspects together with you. You are that only. Take full advantage of that. Abide in that. Worship that only. Or abiding to the I don't know what you mean by consciousness in that stense. To me, what yes, Maharaj is saying is that I may if I get rid of the sense of I am, of individuation, of separateness, of self-containment, of confinement, of being this body. The only thing I know that when you say that consciousness is, is awareness. That's all it is. How can it be anything else? Fourteenth July, nineteen eighty. Morning. Fourteenth July, nineteen eighty. Morning session begins. Myself and the gentleman with the glasses who translates. the argument was about the use of certain terms to translate 
in our own. Especially the use of the words consciousness and awareness. In my, in my understanding of English, these words could, you know, most people in the West, they could be used interchangeably. Whereas the way people used them here was with a very special meaning. And this, people took pains to define what they meant, especially by the word consciousness, which is usually, you know, in other books on spirituality in the West, given a defining term, qualifying term in front of it, from some of them. He said, me, don't you worry about the argument you know, do it. Well, semantic. As far as the semantic, you know, that I can get around that because I... So he said, other people may use the two words here are being used in, in a particular fashion. But no. Uh -huh. So there it is. Oh. Keep hot. <laughs> Awareness refers to only the absolute, which is without change. Consciousness is that which changes. And that is how we use the word. So whoever he comes here in this industry, it must be on that basis. <laughs> Consciousness is the, the word we use in, in manifestation. It is a lot of change. Awareness is something steady, it doesn't change. It is usually used for the action. Why? 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 Actually, I was very disturbed from the childhood. So, uh, for about 30 years, I spent much more two to three hundred rupees on medicine. But nobody could cure my muscle and uh, cough, cold and all that. What a problem, intestine, this thing, that thing, this thing, that thing, all were there. And so yoga, 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 so, if you are gone in the field or study at yoga in the last 20 years, what identity have you formed or what image have you formed about yourself? What is your true nature? Have you come to that conclusion? See, whatever is said, I agree with people and everyone. It's been torture.